Charlie Munger, Berkshire Hathaway's vice chair and the Daily Journal board member and investor, spoke yesterday at the Daily Journal's annual meeting. It was streamed exclusively on CNBC.com. Munger is the publishing and technology company's former chairman, and he took shareholder questions for about two and a half hours yesterday, covered a broad range of topics, including things like artificial intelligence. I think artificial intelligence is very important, but is also a lot of crazy hype on the subject. Artificial intelligence is not going to cure cancer. It's not going to do everything that we want done. And, and there's a lot of nonsense in it, too. So I, re I regard it as a mixed blessing, all this artificial intelligence. Munger also said that his favorite stock ever is BYD. That's the Chinese EV maker that Berkshire Hathaway first invested in back in 2008. This was something that Charlie brought to Berkshire, and he said it's probably the best thing he's ever done for Berkshire Hathaway. Back in 2008, they invested $230 million. It's now worth about $8 billion, that stock, that, that stake that they have in the company. Um, it's up more than 17-fold since 2008, and I think they got an even better deal than what average investors would have over that period of time. And in answer to a question, he compared BYD to Tesla. Tesla last year reduced its prices in China twice. BYD increased its prices. We're direct competitors. We're so much ahead of BYD. I mean, BYD is so much ahead of Tesla in China, it's like a... It's just, it's almost ridiculous. And if you look at BYD, which most of you have never heard of, if you count all the manufacturing space they have in China to make cars, it would, it would amount to a big percentage of all the land in Manhattan Island. Hmm. When asked about Tesla CEO Elon Musk, Munger was complimentary. In fact, recently he compared it to a minor miracle, what he's managed to do with... Um, with with Tesla over the years, said that he is definitely a genius, at least on a lot of issues. But when you ask him about Twitter, Munger says social media is not really his thing. Well, you know, I don't use Twitter. And so I'm not a good judge on that subject. And my policy on Elon Musk is that he's a very talented man, but also peculiar. And so I, I don't buy him and I don't sell him short. I just say, well, he's a very unusual person. Yeah, he said more than that. He called him a genius a couple times in the interview. Munger, by the way, who at 99 says he's done almost no exercise during his life other than when he was in the Army Air Corps and was forced to exercise, was asked a number of different times about his age and his longevity. One shareholder asked about how he'd like to get out of bed on his 100th birthday, which is coming up in about mm, 10 and a half months. I step out of my bed these days and sit, then sit down in my wheelchair. So I am paying some price for old age, but I prefer it to being dead. And, and whenever I feel sad maybe in a wheelchair, I think, well, you know, Roosevelt ran the whole damn country for 12 years in a wheelchair. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make this wheelchair thing last as long as Roosevelt did. Well, there's no question about the fact that you lose some mental acuity as you get older. But some people get shrewder at adapting to their limitations, and they do pretty well. And so far, I, I've had plenty of decline, but I'm pretty shrewd about the way I handle it. And so far, the results have not been that bad in my old age. Now, my sex life would be a different subject. <laughs> the what? His sex life would be a different subject. Well, we can talk about anything then. So, 